trading your Xboxes, trading your Nintendos, that PS5 you just got, you can go ahead and throw that into the garbage can. Gamers, gaming has just changed. This week, KFC has unveiled their next-gen gaming console, the KFC Ansel. The specs on this thing are insane. This completely obliterates PS5 and the new Xbox One X in terms of hardware. We're talking Intel Xeon Platinum, 28-core processor. We're talking NVIDIA RTX 3090. I mean, that's a $2,000 graphics card. You got seven different fans going off in that bad boy. Sounds like a fucking hot ride engine when you boot it up. You actually need to install an electrical tower next to your house to plug the power supply into, and then the power supply itself is stored separately inside of a large refrigerator. I play a lot of Minecraft and Among Us, and this thing is just blasting those games out of the park at 240 frames per second. Uh, Cyberpunk, you got the PS4 version on the left there, and here's the KFC version, which is hitting, you know, 45 FPS easy. This is not just a stupid fad or gimmick. Fast food chains have a long history of putting out the best video games. Yo Noid, this is a Domino's platformer for the NES. It was developed by Capcom, so this was actually a pretty legit game for its time. I don't know why. I don't know how. I don't know where I go. I don't know who I am, I don't know what this does to make you want to get Domino's, I just know that this is a very good game. I think this was sold as a standalone game, so it was just sitting there on the shelf next to Mario, probably costing just as much. Although it did come with a $1 off coupon for Domino's, so it's a pretty good deal. They even did a Yo Noid 2, where every time you pick up a pepperoni it goes, Pizza. 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 There's a level where you can walk on pizza, you can talk to the garlic dipping sauce, and that's a whole situation. This game is where the series took a darker turn with the, you know, psychological horror science fiction elements. Not sure why Domino signed off on this one. 7up had a game, Pepsi had a game called... Pepsi Man! It's a good thing that I have video evidence of all these games, otherwise you probably wouldn't believe me that these are real. I remember Taco Bell had a floppy disk game, which was like the toy you got with the Happy Meal. This is a uh, FPS where you shoot snakes in a temple with the hot sauce from Taco Bell, so you're definitely going to want to play this one. Hooters Road Trip. Now this was developed by the famous company Ubisoft who is known for making all of those great games. This is a racing game where you drive from state to state stopping at every Hooters location along the way. Hi y'all, welcome to Georgia. How are you doing sugar? There is a Sour Patch Kids game that is narrated by Creed Bratton from The Office. Keep exploring and you'll find more secrets. Of course, we have to pay respect to the Burger King trilogy, Sneak King, which is one of the best stealth games, and uh, Burger King Racing, which allows you to finally race as a man inside of a gigantic Whopper Jr. outfit riding a motorcycle. These fast food video games paved the way. There is also a KFC dating sim where you can become romantically involved with Colonel Sanders. With the KFC Ansel, we are looking at one of the strongest launch lineups in video game history. But wait a minute. I haven't even told you guys about the most nextish genus feature of the KFC console, and that is the chicken chamber. You can actually place KFC chicken inside of your computer, and it will actually keep your chicken warm and you know, the longer you keep that chicken in the chamber, the more your room is going to smell like greasy, you know, horrible KFC chicken. $2,000.